Hi everybody, I'm Miss Tess. Thank you for joining me for story time today. Today's story is Nuts to You by Lois Eller. And this is the story of a squirrel who sneaks into an apartment through a tear in the uh, window screen. And he's looking for food. And along the way he encounters various uh, animals and um, uh, you know plants. Uh, so the problem then becomes how, does, how can we get the squirrel out of the apartment? So uh, it's a funny story, it's told in rhyme, and it's a lot of fun to read. So uh, before I get started, I just want to point out this unique feature of Nuts to You, is that there is a clear circular, looks like a window, right? I can see you, you can see me, and most important, we can see the squirrel. So the project, that you, the kit that you picked up, is basically uh, you're putting the squirrel in the tree. Uh, so this will be a good reminder of what we when you know what we read in the story so okay let's get started see that squirrel in our tree I think he'd rather live with me I'll wait a while he could be shy or maybe he likes it way up high Here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. Do you see him there? And these are some flowers. And there's a ladybug. What else do we have? He's eating a peanut. Oh, and these, this is a begonia plant. So at the end of the book, uh, another unique feature is that uh, the author gives you a list of uh, you know, the, the plants, the animals, and also some facts about squirrels so you can learn, get more information. So this is a good example of nonfiction uh, in a fiction story. Okay. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. There he goes, up the bricks on his claws. He steals seeds and eats with his paws. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. Boy, he's really getting close now. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. When I came back, guess what I found? <gasps> that squirrel was there looking around. He's looking at himself in the mirror. He found a ball, he's going to play with it. We're in trouble now. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk and left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. He's coming out to get the food. Remember, he's hungry. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts and scampered away, but he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pockets, one or two, and when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you.
here's some squirrel talk. So there's information about squirrels, what, what about their teeth, about their feet. Uh, yellow jacket here. The squirrel's tail, the, the, where they live, what type of food they eat. And that's the end of Nuts to You. And this book is available for checkout at the library. So if you'd like to check it out, give us a call, come on in, and um, you can read Nuts to You again at home. So I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please stay tuned, and I'll demonstrate the craft. And um, thanks for coming. Bye. Hi, everybody. Miss Tess once again. And I'm going to go through the uh, directions for the, the craft for Nuts to You. So here we go. Let's go through the kit. Um, make sure you have everything and I'll explain it so and there are written instructions in the kit to back up everything I'm saying so you there is uh, in the kit there's a piece of gray paper there is brown paper with a head traced on it this is the squirrel's head and then you'll use the same piece of paper for the um, for the trunk so you'll carefully cut out the head make it a little smaller Okay, then you'll glue the head and the trunk to the paper. You can either hold it horizontally or vertically like this. Now before you glue the trunk onto the paper, um, I would take a scissor and you can draw it with a crayon, a little wavy line like this on either side because as we know, trees in nature don't have straight lines like this. So look out the window. There's probably a tree in your backyard or your front yard. Uh, so you get a sense of what a tree looks like. Okay. So once the head and the trunk are glued down, then you've got a little set of eyes. And you've got some, these are styrofoam packing peanuts that we painted brown. And these are the peanuts that the squirrel ate in the story. So you'll add the features the eyes, a nose, you'll draw a mouth, ears, and the squirrel also has whiskers. So, you know, use black or brown for that. Um, glue on the peanuts, you know, at the bottom. Or you could even have the squirrel eating the peanuts, like on the front cover. Okay, you decide where you want to put them. The final thing to complete your project is to add some finishing touches. So, if you, you, the squirrel is, you're outside, the tree is outside. What else is outside? There's grass on the ground. I would draw some green grass. I would draw a sun. Uh, maybe you can look outside. Is it a cloudy day? Is it a sunny day? Do you see any birds in the sky? You can draw some birds. Um, and all of these things will make your project, um, you know, look realistic. So, uh, and the other thing that is in this set of directions is there are some activity sheets. So this is fun, a little fun game. You can play with um, you know, other adults. Uh, you can play with you know, brothers and sisters. It's a, you roll the dice and then you color the acorn that matches the number of dots on the dice. Okay. Then there's the, the color and count sheet. So on this sheet, you color in the squirrel and everything that's on here. And you count up the number of acorns and you circle the right answer. Now, the older children will, you know, some of them will know their numbers already visually, like, you know, five and six-year-olds, the younger ones, uh, you'll, you know, help them, but this is a great way to start teaching uh, counting, you know, just to reinforce it. Okay, we've also got another color and count page. And behind this is, are the, um, if you want to cut these out, this would be, a, you know, cutting in, uh, gluing exercise and this is a really fun poem based on the story and it rhymes just like the story rhymes so um, little squirrel in the tree I think should you should come and live with me and it just goes on so it's kind of fun to do and after that we've just got some blank pages for coloring coloring drawing so it's a good thing to do And here's a refresher of what the project will look like. 
Okay, so I hope you have fun making your squirrel in a tree and um, 